Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. Happy Friday! Let's get right into circle time by singing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now we're going to take our airplane wings and make them into a big circle out in front of us like this. Next, let's take the circle up over our heads and stretch to one side. Nice stretching, friends. Let's go to the other side. And one last stretch up at the top before we bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear Earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful morning so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, Let's do three things quickly. First, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, let's put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin. So I'm going to snap them up like this. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how we do that? Boom, 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 boom. So now that we have our listening ears on, our thinking hats on, and our hearts are, are warmed up, it's time to get ready for circle time. We will start off with the date. And when we say the date, we begin with the month. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? May. The month is May and today is May 21st. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was May 20th and today is May 21st. Right up here we have the year. You can say that the year is 2021 and you can also say that the year is 2021. But will you say the date with me one more time? Today is May 21st, 2021 or 2021. And now let's get our counting fingers ready and give them a little stretch to warm them up. But instead of counting all the days that we've had so far in the month of May, let's count the remaining days or the days that are left in the month of May. So after today, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After today, there are only ten days left in the month of May. Now, will you hold up seven fingers to get ready for the Days of the Week song? We'll start off with one hand but one hand only has five fingers. We need two more fingers like this to make seven for the seven days of the week. The song goes like this. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to travel down to the bottom of the chart and I'm going to say, the sound that the day starts with. So listen carefully to your first clue. This says that yesterday was th Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So that means that today is th Friday. Today is Friday, the last day of the weekday. So tomorrow will be th Saturday the first day of the weekend. But let's sing Today is Friday together. It goes like this. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, 
all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Now I'm going to go back up to the top of the chart where we have the season. Do you remember what the season is? Spring! It's springtime where I live. And now let's go back down to the bottom of the chart so that we can sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So yesterday was cloudy and the sun was shining, but today it looks like the sun has come out from behind the clouds. I still see a lot of clouds out in the sky, but at least the sun is shining through. It's mostly cloudy, but the sun is shining a little bit. And my temperature chart is still on orange because it's another warm day where I live. Warm, but mostly cloudy. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So because today is Friday, it's going to be the last day talking about this letter. Can you make the sound for me? And what is this letter called? X, you're right. This is a lowercase x. X says x, x. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. It's something that ends with the letter x, x. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a dinosaur. This large dinosaur was a carnivore or a meat eater. So these dinosaurs had very sharp teeth and sharp claws. They also had a pretty long tail. Do you know what type of dinosaur this is? Let's take a look. This is a Tyrannosaurus rex or a T-rex for short. This dinosaur had sharp teeth sharp claws because they were carnivores and they ate meat. And T-Rex or Tyrannosaurus Rex ends with the letter X, X. This is how you write a lowercase X, X. One more time. Today is also going to be our last day talking about this double digit number. Do you remember what double digit number this is? 24. Now, when you write the number 24, you write two numbers. Will you show me with your fingers what number you write first? Two. And then what number do you write next? Four. Two, four. 24. Let me grab my piece of chalk and you can find something to write with so that we can draw 24 tally marks together. And if not, you can just count with me. One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 goes across, 21, 22, 23, and one more makes 24. 24 tally marks. We have one more thing to count today before we move on. Because today is Friday, we are going to be counting 24 acorn tops. And as we count them, I'm going to make two rows of 10 across the top of the box 
and then the extra acorn tops will go at the bottom. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One row of ten. Let's start the second row with the number eleven. These two are connected, so that would be twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we have ten, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and one more makes twenty-four. Twenty-four acorn tops. Today is also our last day talking about Today is also the last day saying farm in sign language. Remember, sign language is a language that uses hand gestures and facial expressions to communicate instead of speaking out loud. Will you show me how to say farm? That's right, friends. You take one of your hands and you bring your thumb to the bottom of your jaw and move it across. Farm. Today we're going to wrap up our focus on farming. This week we've talked all about how farmers plant, care for, and harvest the food that we eat. However, some farmers raise animals on their farms. Can you think of any animals that you would find on a farm? I can think of pigs, cows, horses, and chickens. So besides feeding the animals, and making sure that their living spaces are clean, what other ways do the farmers take care of the animals? How about a chicken? How do farmers care for their chickens? They collect the eggs. And what about a horse? The farmers brush them. And can you think of any ways that a farmer takes care of a cow? Cows have to be milked. We learned about that a few weeks ago. Animals are living creatures, which is why it's very important to take care of them. Do you think that you can help take care of some animals today? I'll show you how. For today's work, you will need some plastic animal figurines, some dirt, a bowl of warm soapy water, and a small dry washcloth. So I have these farm animal figurines. I have a cow and a pig and a sheep, but you can use any animal figurines that you have at your house. And one thing about a farm during the springtime is that after all of that rain, everything gets muddy and the animals can be very dirty. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to the dirt. We learned a few weeks ago that when you add water to dirt, it becomes mud. So animals, especially pigs, love to play in the mud because they spend most of their time outside. They get very, very dirty. So friends, you can have your animals play in the mud. You can cover them up in the mud. You can roll them around in the mud. And once you're done, you can see this pig definitely needs a bath. So I'm going to put the pig into the nice warm soapy water, wash the pig off. There's some dirt left behind his tail and on his back. And once the pig is all clean, the last step is to dry the pig off. These animals also need a bath. So I'm going to go ahead and wash them off and I'll see you back at circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. 
You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Next week, we are going to move our focus from farming to gardening. But before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everyone wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you all on Monday.